We are in Windows 8, or actually 8.1 in this particular case, but it's going to work the same way. And we are going to reset a lost password. So you can see my username is the letter X, and let's just say I forgot my password. So we're going to uh, restart and boot off of the DVD. And from there, we're going to go ahead and reset the password without buying any programs, any third-party products, anything like that. And it's only going to take about four minutes. So I'm showing to you how to do this from a uh, virtual machine just because I can show you uh, booting up off of a DVD more easily than a from a physical computer where I can't run my software. So I'm going to press uh, any key to boot from my CD DVD. In this case, I'm booting from an ISO file, but you would likely be booting from a physical DVD. And when it boots up, we're just going to run a couple commands and get this all fixed up. So we'll go ahead and click Next when it boots up. Choose Repair Your Computer. And then we're going to shoot. Uh, click on Troubleshoot. And then click on Advanced Options. And then go to the Command Prompt. So we're in the Command Prompt. Now we need to type a command called Disk Part. And that's going to tell us which partition uh, Windows is on so we can do this password reset. So let's go ahead and type in list vol, hit enter, and we can see that it is the D drive. Uh, and we can tell that because the first volume shows a CD-ROM, so we know it's not that one. The second volume shows 350 megabytes, so it couldn't be that one. So the third one is 24 gigabytes, so we know that that is our Windows partition. And we see that's the drive letter of D. So go ahead and type exit. And we see we're back to the sources. So we're going to click on D colon. And I'll type a CLS just to get us back to the top of the screen. And there is our D drive. All right. So now we need to reset this password. So we're at the D drive. And we need to type a, a couple more commands. So we're going to type CD space Windows. Hit Enter. CD space System32. Hit Enter. And now we're going to rename a file. Rename Utilman, which is the um, executable program that brings us our electronic keyboard in case we have disabilities. We're going to rename Utilman.exe to Utilman.old. Hit enter. And now we're going to copy the command prompt, command cmd.exe, to Utilman.exe. So basically, we're just replacing Utilman with a command prompt. And now that that's all done, we'll just go ahead and type exit. And now we can say uh, can exit and continue on to Windows 8.1. So we're moving on to Windows 8.1. We're not going to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. We're just going to boot into normal Windows. And once we do, we're going to type one more command, and then we'll be able to log into our computer. So now we're at the login screen. And we just need to click on this little button down in the left-hand corner that says Ease of Access. That's what utilman.exe is, and that's what we renamed to be the command prompt. So now we just need to type in net user, and we know our user is the letter X because that's what it says right there. That's our username, X. In your case, it's going to be something different. And we're going to type in whatever we want our new password to be. So we'll go ahead and type in password. I'm going to use a capital P and a zero just to make sure it conforms with any kind of complexity issues. I know it's a simple password, not something you want to continue using, but just to get us reset. All right, so now we're good there. We'll go ahead and type exit, and we'll get back our screen there, and we'll type in the password I just typed in. Hit enter, and now we've reset our password, we've logged in, and we didn't have to buy anything. So that's how you do it. This also works with Windows 7 and Windows 10.